Hello, hello, <laughs> Sir David the Bard. Uh, I'm coming to you from Saginaw, Michigan. Now, when I was a child, I, I lived in Saginaw, Michigan. Uh, my parents were converted by uh, state missionaries pounding on their door um, in Saginaw, Michigan to uh, the Mormon Church. My mother wanted to join right away, and my father uh, was very, very resistant. Uh, and then my father became a fanatic in the Mormon church. Uh, it covered up his child molestation career. So, you know, what can I say about Saginaw, Michigan? Now, I have to tell you, uh, confess. I have to confess. I have never said this before. Maybe to one wife somewhere. I don't know. But anyway, I went to kindergarten in uh, Saginaw, Michigan, and I had to walk to school. It wasn't that far. Right, I don't know, three or four blocks maybe. But um, I went to school one day. <laughs> you, you, you're gonna hate the bard. You're gonna. This may be my last video. <laughs> I'll have zero, zero, zero viewers after this video. And I was a cute little kid. You know, I had a big head, uh, kind of like George Lopez. <laughs> I didn't speak Spanish though. And I was walking to school, and I had this big woolly coat on because Saginaw is in Michigan and it's cold in the winter for a baby to walk to school. <coughs> and about halfway to school, I say to myself, self, I got to take a dump really, really bad. Now, when you're five years old, you don't realize when, you know, you may have to have uh, the, <laughs> the uh, I'm being, I'm being coy, but I'm also being, uh, um, not sacrilegious, I'm being politically correct. See, dementia is everywhere. I don't know where the bathrooms are, and I don't think there were any bathrooms between my house and uh, the school. So, being five years old, uh, I made the uh, wrongful assumption uh, that if I crapped in my pants, <laughs> nobody would know. <laughs> So that's what happened. I crapped in my pants. And uh, I know I'm not going to... I, I need a bishop. I really need to confess this to a bishop so that I'm still eligible for the celestial kingdom to be <laughs> with all the Mormons. I don't want to be with them down here. Why would I want to be with them up there? <coughs> anyway, I walked in. I hung my coat up. <laughs> Damn kids wouldn't even come up and say hi to me. You, you think I had the bubonic leg? Maybe Ebola. Well, it was as bad as Ebola, but the teacher came over and said, uh, uh, Bard, <laughs> baby Bard, you smell like shit. I go, I do? You know, it's like, I see, I was a Mormon then. I do? See, <laughs> I'm surprised. <laughs> anyway, uh, they called my mom. <coughs> And mom is, uh, has always been a good mom. She said, well, David was full of shit when he was born, and he'll die full of shit. I'll come and get him. I'll come and get him. So anyway, it was kind of a uh, public humiliation, and now um, that I'm almost going on 70 years old, i got to know where the damn bathrooms are now. <laughs> I don't want to crap my pants very much. <laughs> my kids, you know, they won't... <laughs> They they put these blankets down. Uh, Nicole, it's one of my daughters. Um, Abigail is driving now, and she has her own car, and it's a beautiful um, Impala, and it's got cloth seats. So she puts a blanket down. Dad, I want you to sit here. I don't want my car to smell. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, no loyalty. No loyalty. So anyway, I have a link down below that <coughs> is unusual. I think it's unusual. I don't like going to funerals. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to go to my own. Uh, I don't like getting dressed up. I don't like to pretend that I'm sad. <laughs> I'm never sad. And um, I don't like to stand around uh, with nothing to say. Obviously, over 1,400 videos, I have something to say. So I've been to two, uh, two funerals. Uh, my uh, aunt, uh, uncle, uncle um, died in, um, oh God, down there in uh, Yucca Valley. California, and I went to his funeral. It was boring. It was stupid. Then I went to my grandfather's funeral, and it was an open casket, and he had on uh, Masonic temple clothes. <coughs> See? It's, it's, <laughs> it's monster. He always does this. <coughs> Alex.
Allentown, Pennsylvania. You think that might be a collection call? I'm going to let it go. <laughs> this is more important. I'm sure it's not a collection. All calls are being... You're going to hear it if he leaves the message. They'll hang up if it's collections. So anyway, um, where was I? See, they're not leaving messages these days. <laughs> Monster. He knows I'm not going to answer him when I'm, you know, doing my show. So where was I? What, you know, I'm going to have to play this back to remember where I was. I'm sure you guys can remember. Oh, funerals. So there's my uh, grandfather. He's wearing a temple uh, apron from the Mormon temple. Uh, so I'm sure the Mormons didn't steal any Masonic <laughs> signs, tokens, symbols, etc. But there's my non-member uh, grandfather laying there dead with a green apron on. And I said to my dad, I said, you know, why is he wearing an apron, dad? And I was only probably 12 or 13. He says, well, it's sacred. It's not a secret. Well, I said, well, if it's not a secret, why don't you tell me? And go, Shut up. Little bard, be quiet. So anyway, I, I, I don't like funerals. And I don't uh, celebrate the, uh, the death of human beings. They die, they die. It's like a tree and fall. Uh, I see the leaves falling off the tree. Winter will come, and that comes in all of our lives. And I'm certainly in the, uh, in the more than the fall of my life. I think it's January. <laughs> so anyway, I don't go to funerals. Well, there's a new idea. Now, I do go to McDonald's. I shouldn't, but I still go to McDonald's, drive up, and... Uh, Oh, God, um, I love, um, I can't remember. Uh, anyway, I, I still go to drive-ups because I'm old and I go to the bank and, you know, anyway. They now have a drive-up funeral home. Ah, I love it. I want to be buried there. I want to be cremated and then my urn put in the window. Now, this is funny as hell. This black guy is pretty, cu uh, pretty cute and pretty uh, creative. He has a drive-up, and I take a look at the video, and you can sign in the register, and when the, uh, when the uh, sensors underneath the driveway feel the weight of a car, then the curtains open, and there's the bard, <laughs> and people go, hi, bard, and then <laughs> drive off. You can go in your bathing suit. You can go naked. You don't have to say anything. You don't have to be around other people. You can be sipping a Coke with a Big Mac and fries over there and, and go to somebody's funeral. Now, I like that. I don't know why, because I'm, you know, mentally ill. Maybe that's why I like it. But anyway, um, obviously when those, those windows open, uh, those people don't help, have health and enable mayor and the bone, strength and loins and the sinews, power and priesthood be upon them and upon their posterity through all generations of time and throughout all eternity. So anyway, um, you can go to the drive-up funeral and pay your respects, whatever that means. Okay, the bard is gone. Thanks.